Hey everybody, my name is Sanjeev Sharma, work for IBM. Uh, I've been IBM's DevOps CTO for the last uh, few years. And I'm going to talk about three concepts, Muda, Mura, and Muri. These are three Japanese words which come from the Toyota production system, have been used over for decades to optimize uh, delivery pipelines, so to speak, in factories. Now in my role as IBM CTO for DevOps, I've had the option to meet with hundreds of clients. It resulted in two books, the DevOps Adoption Playbook and DevOps for Dummies. No, DevOps Adoption Playbook is for you, DevOps for Dummies is for people you work with. <laughs> now taking Muda, Mura, and Muri, which I'll explain shortly, the idea is to optimize delivery pipelines, which are assembly lines in factories. We are going to do the same thing and look at how to do that in a delivery pipeline concept and application, where our goal is to co improve continuously the deliverable, which is the product we are making, the environment on which the product is running, and the process with which we deliver it. This results in what the Japanese call Kaizen, or continuous improvement. Now, people in Japan have corrected me that uh, Kaizen actually does not mean improvement. It means taking away bad things. But in the car context, we'll talk about continuous improvement. Let's introduce the concepts. The first is Muda. It stands for waste. Is there waste in our delivery pipeline? Is that work we all do, like writing reports, updating logs, filling in timesheets, which is considered waste and adds no value to what it is we are delivering? Mura is unevenness. Is my work more than yours? Do I have to wait because you're going to take much longer to do what you do than I have to do, and that results in unevenness in the delivery pipeline? And the last is overburden, and everybody raise your hand if you're feeling overburdened, and it requires a superhuman effort for you to deliver your part of the delivery pipeline. The first goal we have is to identify what sources of Muda, Mura, and Muri are in a delivery pipeline. The age-old technique from Lean to do this is called creating a value stream map. You do a value stream mapping of all the stakeholders, all the deliverables, all the environments, and how flow happens through it, and identify the root causes of why there is waste, unevenness, or overburdenness in the delivery pipeline, because then you can address it. And we'll talk in the rest of the session about how to identify and address Muda, Mura, and Muri. When you're talking about an enterprise where it's not a startup with one product, the challenge you end up is that there is not just Muda, Mura, and Muri in one delivery pipeline, but hundreds of delivery pipelines which are interdependent. So there's unevenness, not within the delivery pipeline, but also other delivery pipelines which interact with it and have dependencies. Through our research, we have come up with six areas which you need to focus on, which are the biggest sources of waste, unevenness, and overburdening in your delivery pipeline. The first one is planning. Of course, you're doing agile, who needs planning? But if you don't plan properly, it is the first source of Mura, which is unevenness, where one plan is dependent upon the other one, and you can only go f as fast as the slowest caboose in your train. Second is architecture. How do I not understand, uh, how do I under have people understand that the goal to create evenness and, and eliminate Mura is by reducing batch size? A major source of waste and waiting for somebody else to do something and not organizing things properly is, uh, gets evident during deployment time. How many of you had release parties where you had to sleep over the weekend and release things, right? One of the major sources of unevenness is testing, right? Where we have, where you know, everybody <laughs> needs, <laughs> right? And the statement there is, you know, if your development sprints are two weeks long, but it takes three weeks to get uh, test environments ready, how long are your sprints? I was told by a major uh, military vendor that you cannot patch a missile after it's been launched. That's an example of proper planning and reducing waste and, and creating, eliminating Muda, Mura, and Muri. Finally is operational readiness, because in a delivery pipeline, you need a two-way street. It does not end when delivery is done. You have to be able to identify what's wrong, you have to be able to, be able to fix it, and then provide feedback and change mean time between failure to mean time to recovery. This requires organizational change. One of the most successful models we've been able to implement at IBM and across our clients is the Spotify Squad Tribe Guild model. My title today is Cloud Architecture Guild Leader. I don't have a team, I have a guild which I'm responsible for. And lastly and most importantly, to eliminate Muda, Mura, and Muri, it's a people action. People are the biggest sources of waste, People are the biggest sources of unevenness, and people are the biggest source of overburdening other people, and it's a cultural, all-hands-about activity to eliminate these and result in total Kaizen. Thank you.